Hello everyone, X-Wall Kill Bethelite here. And uh, we've got the lovely Serenity with us because we were always... have Marcus with us. Because we were always taught in the, I guess, the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses that you, you, you want two witnesses. If you have two witnesses, then what you're saying is firmly established. You're telling the truth if you have two people telling you the same thing. And one thing that I've been saying for the longest time is that Jehovah's Witnesses are abusive people. They're not victims. They're abusive people. When you have former members going to uh, see specialists, they, they, they've been damaged to the extent that they have to literally go and talk to uh, a psychologist, get therapy. And the therapist whose job is to listen to people who have trauma, listen to people that's been through all kinds of horrible things when they can't even understand where former Jehovah's Witnesses are coming from. That their job is to listen to people who have gone through horrible things and they can't even understand. They can't wrap their brains around what you and I have gone through as former members of that cult. You know something really, really bad has happened to you. And that's something that we're going to talk a little bit more about because I'm going to make the point again that Jehovah's Witnesses are not victims. They willfully use their religion as an excuse to be abusive to their family members. And the reason I know that is because some of the, the shunning that they do isn't even according to their own teaching. They don't even have a teaching to state to shun someone who hadn't done anything wrong no sin per se, not disfellowshipped, but the relative shuns you anyway. It, 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 you can't say that person is victimized, that Jehovah's Witness is victimized by the governing body because Jehovah's Witnesses don't even follow the governing body's teachings. They shun when they want to. And Serenity's got a I think something that she would like to share here. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I had mentioned in my last video about how toxic and the effect that shunning has on individuals. And I had actually brought up a watchtower that <laughs> was printed and said the toxic, toxic effect and how basically people need friends and they need family. So they acknowledge that people need a social structure, but yet they encourage the shunning. Now, I have very personal experience with this. Um, my family, my Jehovah's Witness family, and I mean, this goes from mother, father, brother, sister-in-law, um, niece, nephews, cousins, aunts, all of them shun me. Don't text, don't call, could not care less what was going on in my life. Whether I was having a difficult time or not, they don't care. I'm literally dead to them. So the thing about this is, is just this morning, a cousin texted me who I mean, I haven't heard from him or even seen him since I was probably somewhere between like six and eight years old, okay? Texting me, talking about what I should be doing as far as loving my parents and basically all this other stuff. So I knew from just what he texted me, and I know he meant well, that he did not know the truth and that my mother, because that's the side of the family, was still spreading lies about me in order to make themselves feel better. So this is what was so 
I mean, it, it shouldn't be surprising, but it's basically if my mother, my father, these relatives that are Jehovah's Witnesses really stood behind shunning, why do they have to lie when they are asked about me as far as what I did in order to justify why they don't talk to me? They should be truthful and just say, because she no longer is in my religion, we have cut her off from this family. That's what they need to say. But they know that just saying that sounds bad. It makes them look bad. So in order to not look bad, they have to fabricate a bunch of stories and lies from me being a thief to everything else in order to justify why they are not speaking to me, why they don't call, why they don't text. Why they don't know how I am. So it's shocking to me because this is my own flesh and blood. But at the same time, it's not shocking to me because once again, if you understand Jehovah, who he truly is, who the father of the lie is, why it is so easy to lie in order to cover up who they truly are. So as much as I love my parents, there are certain things I cannot overlook. Because as a decent human being, you don't lie. You don't maliciously slander someone else in order to ruin their reputation so yours looks better. And this is exactly what they're doing. To the point where it's getting to family members who are getting back to me about what's going on that I have not seen or talked to since I was a child. This is how it's permeating through the family. So not only has it caused divisions amongst my immediate family, but family members who really shouldn't even have anything to do with this. So you see how this cult is really affecting people's lives and not for the better. Let me just add real quick that what we assume happens is relatives speak to each other and when they do so it's normal for people to ask about others in the family mm -hmm. so when relatives ask serenity's parents about serenity how am i doing instead of just saying we are shunning her meaning we do not speak mm -hmm. to her because she's not in our religion they don't say that because they're ashamed of it. Instead, they make up lies about her as an excuse to not speak to her. Now, if the religion was teaching them to do that, then you could say Jehovah's Witnesses are victimized by the governing body. What they're doing is the governing body's teaching. But that is not anywhere in Watchtower's teaching that you are to slander and make up things to about lie. relatives and spread it throughout the family. Even non-witnesses. To non-witness as an excuse as to why you haven't behavior, spoken. Basically. As to why you haven't spoken. Yeah. It's two witnesses at the mouth of two witnesses because it's not just happened to her. It's happened to me. I told Serenity about when I got back from Bethel and everybody who knows me knows Marcus just tells it how it is. And I was talking about Bethel and some of the things that happened. Uh, and at the time, I was still to a certain extent still indoctrinated. And I had relatives immediately go ahead and start spreading rumors, spreading stuff about how I was on drugs. You're on or, drugs. Yeah, how I was on <laughs> drugs. Never had a drug in my life. Just got back from Bethel. Just got back from Bethel. I didn't even have a place on my own yet because I alcoholic. just got back from Bethel. <laughs> so in order to keep other relatives from speaking to me and finding out what happened mm -hmm. at Bethel, I had relatives just start spreading crazy rumors about me. And that is not taught by Watchtower. Jehovah's Witnesses are not victims. They are willful spreaders of slander 
because they are bad people. It's not even the cult. They go beyond what the cult even teaches. So the whole concept of Jehovah's Witnesses just want to be left alone to practice their religion. That is false. They want to abuse people in their family and then be the victims themselves and try to pretend to be the victims, even though their religion doesn't even teach what they oftentimes choose to do. It's a choice. It's not indoctrination. It would have to be a religious teaching for it to be indoctrination. And both of us know Jehovah's Witnesses that choose to speak to some family mm -hmm. that no longer go to meetings yep. and choose not to speak to other family who also don't go to meetings. It's not about the religion or the teachings. Yeah. I, I have an aunt, okay? Love her to death. Um, I grew up with her, actually. Um, she was right next door. So I have an aunt who basically had a son who's disfellowshipped around the same age as me, but I was disassociated. And I remember <laughs> our last phone conversation that we had. Okay, she talks to her son who's disfellowshipped. He comes over, takes care of her, makes sure she's okay. She makes sure, you know, he's okay. We'll send food for him now and then. Um, but she said she's not going to talk to me because I'm an apostate. I don't believe what they believe. It's different with her son because he was kicked out due to immorality. So even within, you see, they have different views. Someone who is disfellowshipped, they can convince themselves it's okay to talk to them. But because you don't believe what I believe, even though you did not commit one of these sins, I'm not going to talk to you. They don't so, follow their teachings. It, it's crazy. It's Is it or is it not? According to the teachings of the Jehovah's Witnesses, if a person is disfellowshipped for immorality, you are not supposed to be associating with that person. That's the teaching. So Serenity is telling you about an experience where a relative broke the teaching you cannot say Jehovah's Witnesses are indoctrinated and the indoctrination is so powerful that they cannot control themselves when they don't even follow the teachings. Mm -hmm. The indoctrination is not that powerful. They don't even follow their own indoctrinated teachings. Yep. They choose to speak to some relatives who are disfellowshipped. And then they choose not to speak to others because they want to shun them but they 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 use the religion as a excuse so that's my main point that i want to get out is that jehovah's witnesses are not victims they are victimizers they don't even follow the their own teachings so you can't say that they're indoctrinated by by the teachings that they don't even follow i've got relatives who go and hang out with their quote unquote worldly family during holidays, right smack in the middle of Christmas and everything else associating with them during the holidays, have pictures next to Christmas trees. <laughs> well, mine Jehovah's witnesses do, do not <laughs> even follow their own teachings. Those teachings are not so powerful that it is brainwashed them. They're not brainwashed. Some are to a point, but the kids, the kids, the, the kids, kids cannot help it. The and kids. that's why I, I can't, you the know, the kids. I'm not talking about kids. I'm talking about adults who pick and choose when they want to follow the teachings. Yes. You're not indoctrinated. You're not brainwashed when you are picking and choosing when you want and do not want to follow the teachings. Yeah. So. What I'm talking about primarily aren't the little kids who don't know any better and they're not picking and choosing. I'm talking about the full grown adults who know full well what they are doing. They are not victims of the governing body because they don't even follow the governing body when they don't want to follow the governing body. 
but the governing body don't even want to admit to the shunning. They want to kind of lie and twist it when they're before like authorities or in court. They don't want to just admit that, yeah, we endorse shunning. Yeah. We endorse cutting off family members and friends from us. Yeah. They try and sugarcoat it even then. So if you're truly not doing something wrong, Watchtower, governing body, teaching something that is wrong, why are you trying to hide it? That's the same thing I'm, I'm asking about all of these relatives who are shunning me. Be truthful. Just be open. Say what it is. But you know it's not right. That's why you won't just openly say what it is. That you choose to disown your own flesh and blood and friends based on a religious view. That That's the simple point. And it's not, again, it's not just the, the, it's not just the religious view. It's, 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 it, it's, it, I think it's to a certain extent, some, some relatives feel like you make decisions and they don't like it. So they choose to shun you. Uh, well, yeah, for it's a example, control thing too, because they still want to have some type of control over you. Right. So you do what they want you to do. And once that's broken. Yeah. It's like narcissism. Once they no longer feel that they can benefit from that relationship, they discard you. Yeah. So it's part of that as well. Yeah. No, except for example, I've got relatives, uh, you know, who shunned me before I even woke up. I had just got back from Bethel. Hadn't gotten this fellowship. Of course I ain't got this fellowship. I just served at Bethel. I was auxiliary pioneering while at Bethel. That's not the norm for Bethelites because Bethelites typically are not even pushed to, to, to get that much field service time. I was auxiliary pioneering while at Bethel. So Jehovah's Witnesses, they use that religion to, to hide behind. It's people who are abusive. There are people, there are individuals who are abusive that use that religion to hide behind and say, well, it's my religion to shun this person when it's not. Oftentimes, it's not in the teachings. Sometimes Jehovah's Witness, they just hadn't seen you in a while and they just automatically start shunning you because of hearsay. <laughs> it's not in the teachings to shun based off hearsay, based off gossip. It's yeah. not in the teachings. So at this point, it's defamation. That's what it is. It's definitely, defamation. definitely defamation. Because this isn't, like I said, at this point, staying between Jehovah's Witness relatives, but they are spreading it to non-witnesses as well. And if they didn't With know no what they were doing, why, were, why are they lying about it? That's the, exactly. that's the main point she's making. If Jehovah's Witnesses don't know what they're doing, they don't even know that it's wrong to shun. Why do they lie and spread rumors about people as an excuse to not speak to them versus just say, hey, I'm shunning them? Yeah. So all these things are things that people who may not be in the Jehovah's Witness cult, but they support the cult say is that they're brainwashed. They can't help it. It's the governing body that, that's teaching them these things when you got two people. Both of us have got relatives in that cult. Both of us have relatives that pick and choose. They're not brainwashed because they pick and choose. They think pretty darn good when they're thinking about what they do and they don't want to follow. They can think good to come up with lies as they well. They can think up good in lies order to and everything. justify themselves. The yeah. thinking's there. It's just for the wrong purposes. Yeah. And they're not even following their own religion. So miss me with the whole they're indoctrinated and brainwashed. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's 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 that that needs to really, really be uh, spoken more about. It needs to be spoken more about how the cult don't teach people to molest kids, but people molest kids. Why? Because they are bad people. You know what I mean? They're, they're child molesters. They abuse people and they're hiding behind the cult using the, 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 the teaching 
of Jehovah's Witnesses are all a loving brotherhood and no one yeah. would do it. But they're not brainwashed because they're able to think and manipulate and use the religion to do what it is that they're trying to do. This is the same situation where you have people who are able to connive and think and use the religion in order to spread bad things about a person because they want to do it. Not indoctrination, not they're brainwashing, not forced. Not forced. They're the, choosing to. They're choosing to. So oftentimes when things happen, it's not because Jehovah's Witnesses are victims. It's because Jehovah's Witnesses have victimized other people. That's 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 it in a nutshell. And believe me, this is my parents, my parents. <laughs> I don't want to have to view them in this light, but I have to. It's blatantly before my face what I'm dealing with. And, and this is the problem. You have these people showing the world and others these beautiful qualities, but secretly, they're wolves. And to have to admit this about my own family is disheartening. But this is my thing. If you're so proud to be a Jehovah's Witness, so proud of your God, so proud of everything that you stand for. Then you should own the shunning and be proud of it as well. And tell the truth to these relatives when they ask about certain individuals that you are actively shunning, that you have disowned. When they ask, tell the truth, own it, be proud of your shunning ways. Don't lie. Don't lie. Just be truthful. And then let the cards fall where they may. Let those people judge who and what you are or that secret person of the heart by what you honestly and truthfully are saying and doing. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. In closing, Jehovah's Witnesses have done all sorts of things to people. I've talked to people over the phone for years that have told me their life experiences. Jehovah's Witnesses have uh, lied in court to take people's children mm -hmm. away from them. Jehovah's Witnesses have put people out on the street uh, because they wouldn't, you know, <laughs> follow the uh, yeah. <laughs> the religion. That's what I remember too. Where even when I was a teenager, remember I told they're you not they're not baptized. I'm not talking about baptized. Yeah, I wasn't people. baptized. I'm talking about people who are not baptized. Jehovah's Witnesses want them to get baptized, mm -hmm. and if they do not, they will put them out on the street. Yeah. I have talked to people who have experienced that, never got baptized, but their parents threw them out the house because they wouldn't get baptized. That's not even in the teachings. They did that because they're bad well, people. Well, no, because I told you my father used it. And, it, you know, they, they use the Bible when they want. Now, I remember this clear as day because I was 17 years old. And I was not. I did not want to go in service. I didn't want to go to meetings. I was not feeling anything about the teachings and doctrines of Jehovah's Witnesses. And I, I as you guys know, even as a child, I didn't. <laughs> but anyway... My father basically thought I was rebellious. And what he did is he used that scripture where it says, as for me and my household, we shall serve Jehovah. So he said that. And he's like, if you don't like it, you can get out of this house. I was 17. So this is the type of stuff that they do. I remember it's not a watchtower teaching. No, but they use he it made because it it's in the Bible. He made it it's up. A, it's a scripture. So, yeah. They use it when they want. And that was one of those things where if you're not serving Jehovah and doing what we want to do, you can get out of this house at 17 years old. But if he's indoctrinated, how is he thinking up doctrine on his own, his own interpretation? It's of crazy. Doctrine? That's why. So, I'm it, so it's we're, not indoctrination. Listen, we're not dealing with normal. It's not brainwashing. He he's, just he's, came up with a teaching 
These Out are the people head. that have the governing body members on their wall in their house and they took their own daughter's pictures off of the wall. So we're talking about this type of mentality. <laughs> so Jehovah's Witnesses have stolen people's children from them, kicked them out, put them out on the street. Uh, there's been people, I know a guy who was blind, literally blind and Jehovah's witnesses, uh, where he was in, that's his whole family. And he was dependent on them to get to the store, to, to, to go to the pharmacy, to get his, uh, medications. And they stopped doing all those things, uh, because, you know, essentially, <laughs> it's for a stupid reason. But uh, essentially, he 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 told uh, some things in the family that weren't supposed to be going on in the family, yeah. <laughs> uh, and somebody lost privileges as a result of that. Uh, you know, doing things with other women at work that they weren't supposed to be doing. And he told about that. Uh, and this is a person who's blind and doesn't always know who's around when he's talking. And the family turned on him. That's not in the teachings. He actually did the right thing. So for a while, I was taking him to the pharmacy and stuff like that because there was nobody that his family left him a blind man. These are bad people. They do all sorts of things to people. But the thing, and it's not the religion. Yeah. They're not victims. They're bad people hiding behind religion. That's Even what it is. you want to do the right thing, and you had just said it, when you do the right thing, and you know it's the right thing, you have an actual conscience, right? Um if that right thing, even if it's honest, it is in the Bible, brings reproach on Jehovah's name, they don't want you to do the right thing. They would prefer to have that false good reputation than you to actually follow through with doing something that's honest and really following in the footsteps of Christ, showing that love, being honest. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I had. Uh, we're enjoying our day. We'll probably uh, finish enjoying our day because you know we don't we don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. This, I don't miss any of them no, movies. All, all this stuff that goes on behind the scenes yeah. that, like, my parents and these other Jehovah's Witness relatives and whatnot think I don't know, does not dampen my happiness, my peace, my joy. I still feel pity for them because they are missing out on this type of happy, authentic, joyful life with people who truly love you and care about you unconditionally, not conditionally. I don't, so, I don't love them hovies. <laughs> well, I, I do. don't feel bad for them That's hovies. where me and him, sometimes we, we'll bump we're heads. We're the same person. No, we we're the, not. We're we, the exact we same person. We bump heads on certain things, but just like... What were you to bump heads about? Yeah, it? no, you, it's fine. You we can, literally... You can, you can feel bad for me if you want to. I don't, I don't tell you not to. you. For them, oh, you said them. You feel yeah. bad for them. I'm like, I don't feel bad for we you. We would no. bump heads if I was like, don't feel bad. I don't tell you not to feel no, bad. No, we for don't them. tell each other what to do, but we I don't we feel also bad for them help hobbies. each other by having different perspectives. Because where I am too tolerant and giving and whatnot, he kind of is like, you can't let people do that to you. So it, it balances each other out. And where he's overly, I don't know, like. I just What's keep the it word? Real. I you do, real. I just... but I'm like, hey, have more empathy. I tell you that. I'm like, hey, have a heart. They're doing so that's, it. That's they're doing where it, and they're doing it intentional. Each other. <laughs> they're doing it, and they're doing it intentional. It's not. It's not. I don't feel empathy for somebody that is purposefully yeah. doing things and spreading lies about people, and it ain't in the right. religion. And, and that's the thing. Like, how much of this do I take when they're intentionally doing what they're doing toward me? Do yeah. I just say, oh, it's fine, it's okay, love, peace, forgiveness? There comes a certain point, and I realize that now. Where no, I'm not going to tolerate it. It's I don't like, tolerate them hobies. You you got to stop at this point because it's malicious. It's yeah. evil. It, yeah. It's nothing loving about it. And yeah. how am I supposed to just be like, it's fine, it's okay. Yeah, come here. Yeah. You've done all that stuff to me, and I'm just going to be fine with it. No, 
Yeah, well, yes, I forgive them and everything else, but our relationship at this point will never be the same again. No, and that they hold is you. that is a consequence of their actions. You cannot get back what we've already lost. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we'll we'll get ready to head out and yep. enjoy the rest of our day. <laughs> We're gonna go. X walk kill Beth Light. Serenity, infinite light. Peace be with you, and I love you. Bye-bye.